Welcome back my Math Minions, Coach Anderson here. In this video, we're going to be following up again from basically combining like terms, adding, subtracting polynomials, then we were multiplying monomials by you know parentheses and things like that, learning how to distribute. And now I'm going to take it to the next level here in this two-part series where first I'm going to show you, hey, multiplying parentheses by parentheses, you know, one group by another group, what do you do? I'm going to show you that not much changes. And then in the video right after this one, before you get to the worksheets, before you get to the speed drills, the next thing you're going to see is, well, what if we don't just have, you know, two terms and two terms, like here, two and two, two and two, like, you know, one, two, one, two. What if we have, well, two by three or three by three? How crazy can we get? How do we handle those? Same deal, my math partner people. I'm going to show you, as long as you know the little details, the little things, everything else takes care of itself. So here we go. What we're doing here is we're going to go ahead and find the product. Okay. We're multiplying this parentheses by this one. Now I'm going to go ahead and repeat myself from one of the previous videos and you're going to watch this. It's called the distributive property. Okay. Distributive property. Here is my like watered down way of saying it. Very easy to understand. Very easy to remember. All you got to do is make sure that everything from one parentheses multiplies with everything from the other. You might know things like, oh, the box method or foiling. But the thing is, if you do not know why those shortcuts work, then the moment that I give you, let's say, three terms or something funky or a negative, you're going to freak out and you shouldn't have to. OK, so pay close attention. I got you. So remember, make sure that everything from one parentheses multiplies with everything from the other. That's all it is. Make sure everything from one parentheses right there multiplies with everything from the other. And again, multiplies with everything from the other. And I'm going to show you exactly how that looks. Everything from the other. It's seriously straightforward. You can't miss it. It's super straightforward. Now, again, I'm teaching you the general surefire way that this will always work. When you learn techniques like foiling or techniques like the box method or anything else, those are all shortcuts of the same exact idea. But I don't want you to learn shortcuts if you don't know how to do it the regular way. So let's go ahead and show you exactly how this works. That way you can feel calm, cool, collected, and confident next time you try these problems out. So here we go, my math party people. Right over here, let's go ahead and show you what's going on. What's going on is this. This 3r plus 3 multiplied with 8r plus 1. Notice that there's one parentheses and then another. Here's what you do. This 3r right here multiplies with the 8r, but also multiplies with the 1. Again, everything from one parentheses multiplies with everything from the other. So this 3r needs to multiply with the 8r and needs to multiply with the 1. And then on top of that, well, we're still not done because we still have the three right there. So that three needs to multiply with the eight R and that three needs to multiply with the one. That's really the main idea. Just make sure that everything from one parentheses multiplies with everything from the other. And that's it. You're golden. You're good. You never have to worry about anything. And really quick, before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly, in our course, you're going to get access to recorded lessons. You're going to get access to guided practice just like this. Worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before. You know what to do. And that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment. Click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. So let's get take care of business. Right over here in the first part, in red, you see 3r times 8r. So in red, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 3r by 8r. 3 times 8 is 24. r times r is r squared. Right there. Next up, what do we have? Next up, we have the 3r times the 1. So 3r times 1, that's just going to be 3r. Anything times 1 is just the same number, right? Cool. 
Up next, we have the three that we have in orange connected with the 8R. So in orange, three times 8R is 24R. And then lastly, in purple, what we have over here is three times one, which is just gonna be three. Again, that's the main idea. Make sure that everything from one parentheses multiplies with everything from the other. And that is it, my math party people. So here, after that, you always need to check whether you have any like terms that you can combine. What I noticed is that we do have that right here. Positive 3R and positive 24R, they both have R. Same variable, same exponent, we can combine those. So our final answer is gonna be 24R squared. Three plus 24 is 27. And then we have the plus three at the end. And there it is. There it is, we have officially done this. And so our final answer will be 24R squared plus 27R plus three, and we're good. So which one is that? That's gonna be right there, C, and we're done. So again, we're not done with the video, obviously. So we're gonna be making sure that we understand how to take care of business with a couple more examples. So again, this is a two part little series where in this part, I'm gonna show you how to deal with two by two, and I'm gonna show you with, if you have more, more than one variable. And then in the next video, we're gonna get crazy. So here we go, let's go ahead and go down to number two. Let's practice this one together and keep moving forward the right way. So starting off, 6m multiplies with 3m. 6 times 3 is 18. m times m is m squared. Next up, you still have to do the 6m with the negative 5. Again, everything from one parentheses with everything from the other. Negative times a positive is going to be a negative. 6 times 5 is 30. m times, well, there's nothing else there, so it's just going to be m. Notice how you can stay calm, cool, and collected. Next up, now that we're done with the 6m, let's make sure the negative 6 multiplies with everything. Negative 6 times 3m. A negative times a positive is a negative. 6 times 3 is 18. And then you have the m there because the m doesn't multiply with anything else. So it's there. Next up, lastly, we're going to do negative 6 times negative 5. A negative times a negative is a positive. Right over here. And then 6 times 5 is 30. And you're good. And now the last thing that you'll do is combine any like terms that we have. And notice right over here, we have ourselves some like terms, negative 30m minus 18m. Same variable, same exponent, we can combine those. So we'll just go ahead and write our final answer as 18m squared. This right over here becomes negative 48m plus 30, and we're done. That was, I'm just highlighting where I combine the like terms, but there we are, and so our answer is D. So my math part of people, again, doesn't seem that terrible, right? Doesn't seem that terrible at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you through an example where things are looking a little funky, right? Again, just make sure that everything from one parentheses multiplies with everything from the other. That's really all we have to do. So allow me to take you through number 26, where it's gonna look a slightly different. Where notice how we have different variables now with M and N, but the process doesn't change. Just make sure you know how to multiply terms and you're good. You're absolutely good. So here, 8m times 3m. 8 times 3 is 24. m times m is m squared. Next up, we have ourselves 8m times negative 7n. Notice again, different variables, but you're still multiplying. A negative times a positive is a negative. 8 times 7 is 56. m times n is just m times n. M, N, right there. Next up, let's take a look at this next one here. We have 7N times 3M. 7 times 3 is 21. M times N is just going to be M, N. A big question I always get is, what if I write N then M? What if I change the order? doesn't really matter, but to keep things formal, alphabetical order is typically the way you want to go. Typically. Okay? Lastly, right up here my math party people, 7N times negative 7N. Well, positive times a negative is a negative. Seven times seven is 49. And then n times n is n squared. And there we go. Do we have any like terms we can combine? We absolutely do. We have ourselves right over here, mn, mn. Same variables and exponents, so we can combine these. So I'll rewrite the 24m squared. Then we have to figure out what a negative 56 plus 21 is gonna be. Well, you can just do 56 minus 21, then keep it negative. 56 minus 21 is gonna be 35. Keep that 35 negative. So negative 
35 m n and before we continue my math party people really quick before we continue i know that you're enjoying this video and i want to make sure that more people can enjoy these videos just like you so if you wouldn't mind just take a quick second like this video comment on it just showing some appreciation showing what you learned and then make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that way when we come out with new videos typically every day you can be right there on the spot to catch on to them so help us help others ace the asvab i'm anderson let's keep going here so we just highlight that again to show you where I combine those like terms. And then the negative 49 m squ n squared stays the same, and we are good. And so that makes the answer here D. It's gonna be D. So I'm gonna show you a couple more here in math part of people. Again, this is not that terrible, it's not that crazy. I know you can do this as long as you apply yourself and apply the rules the right way. Next up, let's take care of number 20, uh, let's do number 27 here. Sure, why not? So again, just make sure every term from one parenthesis multiplies with every term from the other. So the 6x needs to go there and there. So here we go. 6x times 6x. 6 times 6 is 36. x times x is x squared. Next up, 6x needs to also multiply with that negative 3y. So positive times a negative is a negative. 6 times 3 is 18. x times y is just x times y. Next up, in purple, 2y times 6x. Over here, 2 times 6 is going to be 12. y times x is just xy. You can do yx, but again, alphabetical order is the proper way. Lastly, what you're going to see over here is, uh, let me go ahead and change colors to, let's do green. 2y times negative 3y. Positive times a negative is a negative. 2 times 3 is 6. y times y is y squared. So again, we've done it. We're good. And a neat little trick that you can use to understand if you're done multiplying is you have two here and two here. Two times two is four. Do you have four total things? Yeah, cool, so you're done, you know you're good. You're supposed to have four different multiplications happening, you're set. Now combining the like terms and you're good to go. So I see over here that we have negative 18 xy, positive 12 xy, they both incorporate xy. Those are like terms, we'll combine them and be done. So we'll have the 36x squared. Then negative 18 plus 12 is negative 6xy. And then we have minus 6y squared. And boom, there it is. After combining like terms, you're good. And we see that the final answer is going to be right over here. And you're set. So a mad part of people, uh, this was the first of you know a two-part series here when it comes to multiplying polynomials together. Here we did binomials times binomials. We also incorporated you know having more than one variable, which is all good and well. Now up next in the following video, we're going to show you, hey, what if things get crazy? What if we have two by three? What do we do then? Same thing, my math party people. We're going to keep it calm, cool, and collected, and just make sure that every term from one parentheses multiplies with every term. From the other and that's it so i'll see you there my math party people and then after that again if you're in the program or in the course make sure to move forward tackle those worksheets tackle those speed drills and keep mastering everything polynomials i'll see you in the next video let's have fun and so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit and to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence that's what my asvab all access program is for the link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.